Hey, Coffee here. And today's video will be a little different since we will be doing an unboxing. A couple weeks ago, a company called Gaimon contacted me and asked if I'd wanted to review one of their products, the M106K Pro. They were nice enough to send me one, and a week later, I received this in the mail. In the box, it came with a classic thank you note and manual start guide. As well as a two finger glove, which is useful for sweaty hands such as myself. The extra pin nibs. A container for your pen. The cord to connect your tablet to your device. Adapter so you can switch to using your phone instead of your computer. The pen. And lastly, the tablet itself. The tablet is at least 10 inches and it comes with 12 keys you can customize. After we finish downloading the driver from Gaumon's website and modifying the pen sensitivity and short keys to however we want, we can now test this baby. First thing I like about this tablet was the amount of shortcuts I can input to the tablet's keys. Here I usually put the brush pen, control Z of course, flip canvas and now a lot more thanks to the amount of shortcuts we can input. I like to flip constantly while drawing. You can tell that right now with CSP's time lapse tool, though be assured I am doing it. It's super convenient, and now I don't have to stretch my arm that far to do the shortcuts on my keyboard. One thing though that I wish this had was a trackpad. Or like those dial-up things. I usually use that for zooming in and out while drawing, but with Considering the amount of keys they put in this tablet, I, I could see why they opted to leave the trackpad out. Plus, it's cheap, so there's that. The pen is really light on your hand, and it makes drawing really smooth. Although, I had to adjust the pen pressure since sometimes the pen wouldn't register until it pressed down a little harder. Some issues I encountered with installing the M106K was my computer had, well, it couldn't detect the device right away. I had to restart my computer for it to work, so I guess if you're having the same problem as me, I suggest you do that. One thing I really like about this is the fact that you can use it with your phone. It's really convenient. Especially to me, since I only own either a computer and a phone, no laptop, so I can't really draw wherever I want, well, digitally at least. So it's nice to have the option to draw with a tablet wherever I go. The bag this came in can actually fit everything quite nice and snug, if I do say so. So yes, easy transportation! So right now, I am just drawing with the tablet. I usually don't use the shortcut keys in my old tablet, so, but in this one, I wanted to at least try to use the one this came in since it did come in with 12. So, 
I struggled a bit, but after getting the hang of it, well, muscle memory at least, I'd say it's pretty helpful. It makes it really f super easy and it's fast to draw. Here I'm just using the same color the background has for the color of the shading so everything looks nice overall. Also I just like red if you can tell. I also like to put my drawing in black and white in another tab just to see if the color composition is nice. I struggle a bit a lot in color choices so that trick's been helping me a lot lately. Just doing finishing touches here, like strands of hair and lighting. All in all, I'm quite pleased with the tablet. I'd like to thank Gaumon again for giving me the opportunity to test this out. I really enjoyed it. And uh, for you guys, I'll hope I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>